So yes, uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, I'm Gianluca, and I'm gonna speak about the survey that a team from Newcastle University has performed on the Basilica of Santa Polinari in Classe in, in Ravenna, and which currently is being used for my PhD. So I'm gonna tell you something about my PhD first. I'm gonna show you some images from the survey we used laser scanner and I'm gonna show you some kind of analysis that I made unfortunately I I didn't manage to do much because the processing has been very time consuming but I I put my best effort to do as best as I could and I'm gonna show you some first conclusions and some uh, projects for the future so, my PhD project is about the relation, basically, between uh, ancient music and architecture uh, between the 4th and the 10th century, uh, sacred architecture. Uh, ancient music, in the sense, it's, it's something completely different from modern music. Modern music is just limited to uh, aesthetic and sound. I'm investigating uh, music in the ancient concept. So it involves uh, theology, philosophy, sound as well, but also visual, aesthetic. And so my project is, is uh, basically about intentionality. I, I like to understand whether uh, the people who designed a sacred building uh, intentionally employed uh, ratios uh, understood from, from musical science, because music was studied from numerical ratios between the length of strings, and on the one hand. And on the other hand, I want to understand whether they uh, employed harmonic science in order to improve the acoustics of the buildings. Why? because we have evidence uh, from the Greek and then in the Roman period and also in the Byzantine period that um, architects, mathematicians and mechanicians used harmonics both to guarantee beauty to things, not only in sound but also in, uh, in objects visual objects and also to improve <coughs> the acoustical properties of, of buildings. So uh, the main question is about the meaning of the building. What, what is an, an early Christian basilica? <coughs> something completely different from something quite different from what we uh, think about today. Uh, they were still in the dichotomy at least uh, up to the 6th century between matter and uh, divine things. So there was the terrestrial world, perishable, uh, and there was the divine world, uh, eternal and symbolic, uh, created by God, but in any way something completely different. And this is where reflected still in the 6th century, from the written sources, it is really clear um, that architecture is not something direct, directly uh, involved with the divine because it uses matter, and so matter is perishable. So the structure of the church is matter, is not eternal. But it, it is something on the borders, it, it's, it's like a gate towards divinity because it represents uh, the mathematical sciences like arithmetic, music, geometry and astronomy in shapes. So the shape of the building is something divine, but the structure is not. And so the building is, uh, is able to bring, to manifest the divinity to people and so to connect the terrestrial world with the divine world. And um, so what I do is to study the design process uh, in order to, to understand what, uh, 
to what extent they use mathematics in order to uh, make this building to, to create this connection. It is something also related to the Old Testament and to Philo of Alexander. It, it, it has a long tradition and also to ancient Greek philosophy. So music, music was something connected to numbers. Basically, through the monochords, it was a very simple instrument, just a string. Uh, they used to study the musical intervals according to perfect ratios, usually epimoric ratios. Uh, epimoric means uh, when one term exceeds the other one by one unit, like 2 to 1, or 3 to 4, or 3 to 2, or 9 to 8. Uh, for example, it is really famous that Pythagoras, traditionally, uh, discovered these ratios and they were really famous in the, um, in the, um, during a very, very long tradition. And so harmonics developed through the centuries. Uh, in the third, fourth, fifth, sixth century, it was a really complex science. Uh, this is an, an Excel uh, document that I created, uh, just transferring the, the proportions in written sources uh, from Ptolemy, basically, from, from Ptolemy harmonics, uh, and just to see how computation developed um, during the first up to the sixth century. And it has a long tradition from Plato, for example. This is, for example, a, a literal animation about the, the famous passage about the, the creation of the war saw that was created according to numerical ratios, and which means that uh, basically, a, according to, to Plato, the, the essence of the war was musically what was, was musical. I mean, it was a huge diatonic scale in four octaves, which were commented during the fifth century, and also in early Christian context as a huge musical scale. So they were really aware. So I'm not gonna show you all this video, which is quite long, but just how does it end up. Okay, that's, that's the uh, main part, but basically, uh, what, Plato, what Plato did and what other commentators did was to create this huge scale of 36 terms or even more sometimes. So the four mathematical signs were intimately connected and they were described uh, as a means to achieve uh, Sophia, the wisdom, the wisdom of God. And so that's why they were described also to be used in structures in order to make them perfect and to achieve God, to, to create a connection with, with God, even through perishable matter. The survey. So I choose, to, I choose this case study because uh, Hans Buchwald, the Byzantinist, um, in a very famous article in the 90s uh, about the geometry of Middle Byzantine churches, um, in some paragraphs uh, wrote some notes about early Christian buildings and he said that in the early Christian period there was this there seemed to be this system of churches with proportion directly connected to, to music basically but there were two problems two very uh, critical problems that and he was aware of it and he uh, wrote it, that his analysis was based on traditional surveys on a small scale and so even at an error of one millimeter or two millimeters uh, it, it, it was really dangerous to study that moderate system on, on that survey and also some basilicas uh, didn't seem to be connected to, to musical proportions so he wondered what, what what does it mean? Should we, we, we should search in written sources and we should assess the surveys. And that's what, exactly what I like to do. Um, I, I mean, at the beginning of my 
third year and I have systematically uh, searched into written sources. My PhD is in, in uh, archaeology, but uh, I have supervisors from classics and from arts and culture as well. And um, so I searched in the written sources in a very systematic way and also in sources about arithmetic and geometry and astronomy, which, which are connected. And I gather data. So Santa Polinari in class is one of my main case studies because of book cloud, uh, because it was a uh, uh, he, he stated that this basilica, in, in particular, was a really good example for, for this. And my other case studies are the, the Lateran Basilica, the, the Constantinian one. Um, I'm collaborating with the Lateran project in Newcastle with Ian Haynes, Les Bosman, Paolo Liberami, and, and uh, Ivan Peveret. And uh, the Hagia Sophia in Istanbul, I'm doing a, a three-month exchange. In, in Istanbul at the moment, uh, studying on the monument, and uh, some preliminary classes, some churches from Naxos, and perhaps uh, Kuchukyalu, which, which is a, a famous site in Istanbul, a 10th century monastery. Uh, we use the far focus laser scanner 3D uh, X uh, uh, 330. That is. And the result is that one. So now I'm going to show you only images from the point cloud. I have not matched the, the point cloud. This is the uh, project point cloud. And um, so yes, the, uh, the basilica is a sixth century uh, building, basically, uh, restored throughout the, the century. It's a very particular one because it was built it, it, it was funded when, uh, during the Ostrogothic Kingdom, not during the Byzantine time. And it was consecrated uh, many years later, many years later, uh, like uh, almost 14 years later, during the, well, after the Byzantine conquer. And so, um, it is described quite often like a Byzantine monument, but it's something more complex. Um, so this is the, the external. And what we did basically was to obtain a complete survey. So we, 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 uh, we got 265 scans uh, of the interior, of the exterior, so a rough scan of the bell tower. And this is the mosaic of the, of the apse, is a masterpiece of post-classical art. And uh, <coughs> what is interesting about this mosaic is that there are, bish there are the bishops of Ravenna in the low register. Then there is Apollinare, which is the middle character. And uh, there is a transfiguration, which is symbolic because the, the apostles are uh, represented as, as sheep. And uh, OK. <laughs> OK, so I am going to show you very quickly that there was a change in the Sinopia. There are mosaics. And uh, we have a plan. We have a very precise plan. And the first registration of the crypt, epigraphy sections, and so the analysis, that's what, what Buchwald said. And I assess this, this proportion. And they, they correspond to, to some extent. This is a very rough image, but, but, image, but I did a very precise work in, in, uh, in CAD, but using the, the orthophoto of the, of the point cloud. Uh, so the setting of the column is very precise. Uh, but we have also to take into account the, the, the marble which has been removed in the, in the 15th century. So uh, basically, yes, the, the basilica is very well constructed in some parts, in some important parts. Uh, but the rules are, are not really clear and the modular system is something complex to, complex to, to, to achieve. Um, and that's it. And anyway, also the decoration developed in a very 
um, in a very connected way with the with the structure. For example, we see that the the register next to the cracks in, in the in the apps is uh, uh, if we see it in in transparency is at the same level of the external corners. So anyway, uh, also during the change of the mosaic, all, all, all the building was was conceived as a unitary structure and um, and developed um, not not as a decoration as a separate thing or uh, architectural structure as, as, a, as separate things. What I'd like to do also is to uh, study the diameter of the windows in order to uh, understand better what was the diameter of the wooden arches used to build the windows, obviously taking taking into account restorations and also uh, quite strong restoration which have, uh, have been made at the beginning of the 20th century. Uh, so that's it and uh, I'd like to get to from, from Razerskan to BIM in, in the future and also to um, to do analysis with the Audion software. Um, we have um, acoustic parameters from the University of Bari who, which made uh, an acoustic survey of the building so I can adjust the parameters of Audion according to the acoustical survey and hopefully get quite uh, reliable results also uh, removing, for example, the, the parts of the altar, which wasn't there in the, in the 6th century, it's a, it's a 10th century addition, and uh, also changing the material in the walls where there was marble, or also try uh, how did the building work without the modern information. And so basically, yes, in 20 minutes, it's uh, very quick idea what I'm going to ask.